so we should this... change the name of the we should change the name of the segment to some depressing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so so this I mean this might be depressing. We had I mean Google's doing it, so it probably is gonna be depressing in the long run. But um so Google just came out with a new crazy technology today. It came out with holographic video webcam technology. So I'm gonna share this real quick and like blow your fucking mind with Google wasting all this money on projects. Mm. Darlene is my younger sister, and the last time I saw her was well over a year ago. Not being able to see my nephew in person is like, um, it makes me sad. So imagine instead of looking at a screen, you're looking at a magic pane of glass. And through that glass, you're seeing another person on the other side. Hi, can you see me? Say hi to Auntie. Oh my gosh, I love you. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> so you look beautiful. And then you just start having a conversation, just like you would if you were physically together. Like, I feel like you're here. This is wild. I can see that curl in your hair. I can see how your sweater is falling. Yeah. <laughs> but then you'll be saying, put on a little lipstick, Maury. <laughs> There are really three breakthroughs coming together. What the fuck am I looking at? One is the ability to capture people as they are. The second is the ability to compress that information and send it over existing networks. And they're going to compress issues. your actual live and body and just is the ability trick people to render to that person alive. viewable through a three-dimensional display. Just so it really feels like people. you're talking with someone right in front of you. <laughs> We see this as a first step in applying technology to solve that really important problem that we often want to be together and we can't. Don't say goodbye. Don't go away. That was mind blowing. That was what she means is that was I've creepy. never seen this. I felt like she was present and I felt like I was present in that moment too. It was like she was here. I, I can't comprehend what I'm looking at. It looks fake as hell. So I want to pull up an article um, about it because I, I, I couldn't process what I was looking at, really. It was like Can you of, imagine people getting away with murder because they just replaced somebody? <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they were, you know, I was just talking about So them. Google now is going to pretty much <clears throat> have a scan of like a deep scan of like your upper body now. I don't understand. So, like, yeah, so right now this article. I guess it's better that people oh, yeah, are love... going to do a deep scan of your body so that they can know how to replace you. So I'm going to skip through all this like magical talking bullshit. I just want to get to the technology. So the, to make this experience possible, we are applying research to computer vision, machine learning, spatial audio, real, real time compression. Um, we also develop a breakthrough light field display system that creates a sense of volume and depth that can be experienced without the need for additional glasses or headsets. Wow. Um, Okay, so can you like fake people? Can you like talk to like Abraham Lincoln, a black Abraham Lincoln, make a fake, totally fake person? You know. Yep. Yep. So the effect is the feeling of a person sitting just across from you, like they are right there. Remember that old segment you used to do about history? Oh, black Photoshop history. Yeah. 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 This is. I mean, yeah, you could actually. Yeah. So Project Starlight is currently available in just a few of our offices and relies on the custom built hardware and highly specialized equipment. We believe this is where person to person communication technology can and should go. Okay. Oh, so this, I like, this is a good picture. I want to see the actual full picture of it. Cause it's like all these weird shaky camera angles. It looked like a fucking, I couldn't tell it was like, look man fake. So I guess this is a good picture of it. You see, it's like, they got to light the shadow of it. Um, so they've been testing this on people, so um, thankfully, so, not on me. So, this is really happening, this is real technology. Um, kind of vague terms, they don't really showing like the specs, so showing you like breakdown of the camera systems, kind of like vague magical talking. Um, yeah, so they don't tell you how many people they ported to the fourth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many Google employees are lost in the fourth dimension now while making yep. this? Yep. So. Just like um 
Uh, Zod, General Zod. General <laughs> Zod. <laughs> how many like upper, how many upper torsos are left? Um, how many people lost their legs being scanned? You know. I what, mean, what? I think that I think that uh, what I think is actually in the opposite. When you start seeing people walk down the street and it's just a pair of legs, you know who was in that machine. <laughs> Yo, and the thing sorry. is, like, I don't want to sound like a Luddite. Yeah. I don't want to sound like an anti... I love technology. Yeah. But some of this shit is, like, really crossing the line. You brought in people to reconnect you in Project Starline. We're already talking about deep fakes. We're already talking about that shit and yeah. how effective they are at fooling people. Holy crap. Yo, we're going into a crazy age, yo. We, we're going to have fake people. We can have, With this kind of technology, you're going to have, like, fake people just living out their lives. Um, I yo, mean, imagine, that, imagine we already have if fake you people. spend $20,000 on this shit, and yeah. then somebody gets a hit of meth and then uses it and then thinks that the person on the other side is real and then tries to jump through it and break <laughs> it off. <laughs> did, did they think about that? No. <laughs> Only Dr. Evil thinks of it all so look out for this hope every no no because i mean google does a lot of things remember google glasses remember how far google glasses went it went as far as someone's face into someone's fist pretty much uh, that's how far google got glass went um but we see how far but that's the thing google really pushes the envelope they make you feel uncomfortable with technology with the google glasses and now with this weird holographic camera optical system that's going to scan your whole assets into Google search. Now people can search for you and get like, you talking to you. Hey, I want to talk to Messiah now. Search Google for you, quick. find you and kill you. <laughs> I don't need to even know the real person anymore. I just can talk to his holographic half on Google. So we see what happens with that. Um, so follow us on Black Power Magic Island on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord and follow Dr. Eugenius. He's live Twitter. Twitch and Discord, you can see half his torso there, um, and that's some future stuff. But Google, don't follow me, <laughs> okay? Google, like everybody, follow me, except Google. <laughs> Thank you.